Hi students, I hope you're well. In this lesson, we're going to learn about one word up here, which has four different pronunciations. So let's find out how you pronounce it. The way you pronounce this word says something about you in terms of your social class. You probably didn't know that. So based on your pronunciation of this word, say it aloud for me now. We're going to find out if you are posh, if you're at the top of the social scale, if you are one of the common people, if your speech is like that of the common man. Or you might find out that you're somewhere in the middle, or perhaps you're American. So we'll go through the four pronunciations and you'll find out. And then in the second part of the lesson, we're going to learn similar words that, that end with this spelling pattern so they can be pronounced in a few different ways. Okay, let's get started. So I will say the first word for you. Garage, garage. You say it for me now, garage. The last sound in here is a very French sounding phoneme. Z, z. A quick demonstration for how to pronounce it. Make a duh sound, duh, duh. D, d, and that spot where your tongue touches, leave a gap and let the air travel as your vocal cords vibrate. Z, z, z. It's not a sound made by touching there, but it's in a similar place. But you've got to leave a gap. Z. Say it with me again. Garage, garage. Now, if you pronounce a word like that, what social class does it reveal about you? Have a think about it and choose one of those from the cloud, the bubble that you think it is. I'll write it in. This is the posh pronunciation of the word. Okay, let's do the second one. Garage, garage, garage. Hopefully the microphone is sensitive enough to pick up the sound difference because if we have a look here at the IPA, it's very, very, very similar. The difference is the last phoneme, which in this case is a J, like in my name, Jade. But because it's at the end of a word here, it's not as strong as it sounds at the beginning. So I say Jade, but here is Arj, Arj, Garaj, Garaj. This phoneme here, like in my name, if you have a look at the symbols, is made up of two symbols. So it begins pretty much like a D and it ends like a J, J, J. We can also think of it as a combination of the two sounds. So choose now the social class of pronouncing this word with a final j like that. I would say this one is, let's just say, in the middle. The third pronunciation now. Garage, garage, garage. We're getting a little bit different now because we've got a different vowel here. The last sound in the word is idge, idge, garage. Garage, where's the petrol garage? And this one is the speech of the common folk, the everyday people. And our last pronunciation here, well, of course, there's only one answer garage, garage. This is the American pronunciation. Although you'll probably find some British people pronounce it that way because we are influenced by American media. But we know as a general rule that this is the American pronunciation because they tend to put the stress on the second syllable, whereas the British pronunciations put the stress on the first syllable. Okay, before we get to part two of the lesson, I've got something to ask you. This channel here, it's been going a long time, but it has been neglected. Let's be honest about it. So I'm now trying to recover the channel 
And to do that, we have to play by YouTube's rules, which means every time you watch a video, you've got to like the video. You've got to subscribe and ring that bell if you've never rung that bell before. So I have to ask you to do those things. Otherwise, my channel is not really going to do very well. And I want to make um, really good lessons for you that you would otherwise get in one of my courses. So if it's no trouble for you today, please like the video. OK, we can continue now. Let's look at the spelling patterns and the pronunciation patterns for words ending in A-G-E pronounced as Oz, Oz. This would be like the posh pronunciation of garage, garage. Okay, let's say the words together. Some of them will have different pronunciations, but these are, this is the pronunciation you'll find in most dictionaries. We'll say them together. Massage, massage, mirage, mirage, camouflage, camouflage, sabotage, sabotage, espionage, espionage. Okay, a few comments about these words. Massage is where you go when your body's aching and you get your body pressed and rubbed so that you feel better. A mirage is something that you see in the desert. You think you see water there, but it's not really there. It's a trick of the weather patterns. Camouflage is what people in the army wear to hide from the enemy. Sabotage is what you do to an enemy. So you spoil their equipment, you damage their equipment, you create an explosion, you blow up their factory, that kind of thing, because you are trying to get advantage over your enemy. And the last one, espionage, this is the activity of spying. Let's bring it together so it sticks in your mind a bit. The last three have a military association as do many French words that have entered English. OK, let's look at the next category. This time, A-G-E is pronounced idge. This is weird. We don't expect words spelt A-G-E to have a I sound in idge, idge. My students commonly mispronounce these words because of this spelling pattern. They don't know it's pronounced itch. I always have to teach them that. Let's say this together. Message, message. I have to write that in. You can't see the spelling, it came off. Message, send a text message. Village, village. A sleepy village. Garbage. Garbage. The garbage bin is in the garden. Average. Average. I live on an average street. Damage. Damage. There's, there is damage caused to my car in the garage. Oh, okay, so I let... I gave you a clue there about my, my natural pronunciation of, of that word. I'm not going to say any more. And the last pronunciation here is A-G-E is age. A little bit different. This is a good way to show you that the same spelling pattern isn't always going to be pronounced in the same way. Look at these short words we've got. We've got age, page, rage, stage, gauge, cage. All of them end in a just sound. There's one tricky word on here. Really, it's this one. Gauge. This is a kind of measuring device. 
such as a fuel gauge in a car, which will tell you how much petrol you have got left before you need to go to the, you say it, choose your pronunciation, before you have to go to that place. Okay, thank you so much students. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't done it already. And I would also like to offer you a free business English pronunciation lesson, which you can get by following the link in the description. Thank you so much and come back, come back again soon. I'll see you then. Bye.